So here we have the first phosphate mineral that we have on our list of borates, sulfates, and phosphates. This is apatite, which is, um, in my opinion, out of the majority of the minerals that we're going to see on this list, um, quite easy to diagnose. Um, the first thing that I see when I see apatite is the hexagonal crystal form. This always, I, I have never seen it not form in this really nice hexagonal pattern here. And it's not like aragonite where it's fooling you. The crystal system of apatite is hexagonal and it just happens to form in hexagonal um, prisms, lots of times with terminations, um, which we'll talk about a second, but this is really, really common. Um, and so by terminations, what I mean here is I've got a couple good examples. So where we have this tip at the end, a little bit of like a little hexagonal mountain there, hexagonal pyramid at the top, that's a termination. And so when we're looking at this compared to something like corundum, corundum very rarely has this kind of hexagonal pyramid top to it. If you think about a quartz crystal, it's really common to see those nice pointy tops of quartz crystals, right? And so apatite also falls under that umbrella where terminations are an easy way to get us on the right track of identifying this as apatite. I also have a bunch of different crystal clarities here because we have these, which are almost quite gemmy, right? You can see through them. Um, they're very transparent very clear, not a lot of inclusions. Then we've got this kind of <laughs> junky looking, you can, it's hardly transparent, you know. And um, this is the full spectrum of different kind of appetites that we can get. Really gemmy quality things, more blocky um, and less perfectly transparent things. This one even has an ugly termination on it here too. Um, this one, and we can see too that we have a clear um, variety of colors, which um, I think helps me to diagnose appetite versus things like corundum, where we wouldn't not, um, usually see this variety of colors where we have a nice blue, a yellow, a brown, reddish, um, these kind of brown reds, whereas corundum usually is more earthy tones. And so we can get a little bit more color here that could help you out with appetite. Um, this is also one of our Mohs Hardness Scale Index Minerals. So this falls firmly at a five. Now, if we do a hardness test with this though, appetite is very brittle. So if you look here and the way that it has grown, we have these lines and almost chunks that look like they're ready to come out. So it's quite brittle if um, I were to take some of these samples, it's likely that they might crumble or break. Um, not any of these because I think these are quite well formed, but if you were in the field, it could be possible to have them kind of breaking in your hand if you gave them a good scratch. Um, but we will do a streak test on this. Let's take uh, this one here. Should be a white streak, as we've been seeing lately. Yeah, pretty much. White streak right there. That's what we would expect. And a five on the hardness scale, let's give it appetite versus um, this nail. Let's see who wins in the end. So just barely. This appetite is being powdered by this nail here. So looks like I have to get a sharper nail. But um, so just just barely softer than this nail, which is about 5.5 5. 5 here. Um, so it would definitely scratch a penny. We're not even going to go there. Um, so main diagnostic things for appetite, this really beautiful vitreous luster all the way to this waxy kind of resinous luster. I think at the beginning of the class, I called this one the Jolly Rancher mineral. Um, so the luster is a giveaway, the crystal shape also a giveaway, hexagonal all the way. Um, that termination at the end helps. The hardness as well, if we wanted to decide between this and corundum, corundum would be harder all day, every day. And I'm trying to think if we have missed anything. Density, this is uh, moderately dense. It's not low density, it's not high density. It just is. Um, this would not effervesce with HCl. And I think that's about it, appetite. Um, I think one of the easier things that we have on the list. So one of your phosphate minerals.